kingdom one by one. The first kingdom is Monera, which represents the earliest group of organisms. They are the most numerous of all organisms with a single drop of water, estimated to contain 50 billion bacteria. Monorins are unicellular, microscopic prokaryotic organisms such as bacteria. These organisms usually live in a moist environment and are found in hot springs, under ice, in deep ocean floors, deserts, as well as within the bodies of animals and plants. Being prokaryotes, monorins lack a definite nucleus, but the nuclear material consists of a coiled naked strand of DNA which is not enclosed in the nuclear membrane. Some monorins show autotrophic nutrition and some show heterotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic monorins can produce their nutrients either by photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. For example, cyanobacteria are photosynthetic bacteria and nitrosomonis, a nitrifying bacteria, is a chemosynthetic bacteria. Heterotrophic monorins exhibit different modes of nutrition. Some are saprophytes, that is, they obtain their nutrients by breaking down complex organic compounds from dead and decaying matter and are also known as decomposers. Some are parasitic, that is, they live on other living organisms, causing them damage. Rickettsia and Chlamydia are parasites found in eukaryotic cells. Monorins move with the help of flagella or by axial filaments or by secreting slime. Flagella sweep in a propeller-like motion to help the bacteria move. The axial filaments cause the cell to rotate and move like a corkscrew. When bacteria move by secreting slime, they glide along surfaces. Most monorins reproduce asexually through binary fission, where the DNA duplicates and each daughter cell receives one molecule of the DNA, and thus they're genetically identical. Binary fission does not allow genetic diversity, which is needed for the bacteria to withstand the changing environment. Bacteria reproduce sexually by the process of conjugation. During this process, two bacteria attach to each other with the help of a pilus and the DNA material is transferred from one bacterium to another, giving a scope to genetic diversity. Organisms in Kingdom Monera do have some means of defense. In some species of bacteria, there is a capsule made of polysaccharide peptidoglycan which covers the cell and protects the bacterium from phagocytosis by white blood cell or from desiccation. When living conditions become too harsh, bacteria develop a high resistant and dormant wall around their DNA and a bit of cytoplasm called the endospore. The endospore may resist up to years of freezing as well as drought. The rest of the cell that has not been covered by the endospore dies. When the conditions become suitable for the bacteria to become active again, the endospore becomes an active cell. The cyanobacteria form resistant spores called achenetes that is, in large cells around which a thickened outer wall develops. Monorins are divided into three major groups, eubacteria, archaebacteria and cyanobacteria. Subkingdom archaebacteria includes primitive anaerobic bacteria that live in conditions such as high temperatures, acidic pH, absence of oxygen, which are too harsh for other living organisms. The subkingdom archaebacteria includes methanogens, halophiles and extreme thermophiles. 
methanogens produce methane gas and live in swamps, sewage, animal gut or other anaerobic habitat. Halophiles are salt lovers. They live in high salinity habitats, brackish ponds, salt lakes and near seafloor volcanic vents. Extreme thermophiles are heat lovers that live in hot springs, acidic soil and near hydrothermal vents where temperature is usually 2500 degrees Celsius. Subkingdom Eubacteria includes typical bacteria that exist today. Cyanobacteria are blue-green algae which contain chlorophyll and other pigments and are aquatic in nature. They were a part of Kingdom Plantae earlier, but because they're prokaryotes, they were placed in Kingdom Monera. Monerins are important to us in many ways. On contrary to the popular belief that most bacteria are harmful and cause diseases, they're actually quite the opposite. They're helpful to us in many ways. Bacteria enrich soil. For example, nitrogen fixers convert nitrogen gas into nitrate that plants need to survive. Monarins also play a very important role in the production of cheese, yogurt and vinegar. Bacteria are used in the production of antibiotics such as streptomycin. They also help cattle digest tough cellulose present in the grass. Methanogens are used in sewage treatment plants to convert sludge into methane gas. Archaebacteria support ecosystem in high temperature habitats because many organisms use them as a food resource. Thank you.